How's it going guys? Welcome back to Horror Vale. It was several episodes ago at this point that I had skipped out on going to investigate the high school, so I kind of want to backtrack and go deal with that. Mike! So I guess Skullball practice is cancelled. What's the world come to? Oh, I'm sorry that your entire world is based around a dumb, a dumb sport like that. I hope you can find more to your identity someday. Oh my god, this guy's girlfriend is hilarious. Or his friend is whatever, the cheerleader that's hanging out next to him. She is hilarious. Malcolm. <sighs> Just all pissy. Katie, Alice, can you believe that Mayor Fingolcrom has closed most of the roads? Getting around is such a pain. She's got like a lip, a tongue sticking out and like her eyes like rolled back into her head and everything. So I was picturing that like in the, I guess I could have done it myself and added that. That like the text itself would have like, can you believe that Mayor Fingle hundreds <laughs> like the written as if she's speaking through a tongue hanging out of her mouth. What you got going over here, lonely ghost? Even if there's a violent monster around, it doesn't really mean much. Killing people's a bit rude, but it's not like I'm in any real danger. So I'm just gonna relax until this all blows over. Horror Veil High. Oh my god, the character designs in this game are amazing. Marie! Sup, Alice? School's out apparently, so like, why'd he even wake up tonight? Tonight, everything's happening at night. We still have goth kids. I thought you would think that the horror veil goth equivalent would be the people who dye their hair like a beach blonde, put on a bunch of pink and sparkles and like beach attire and everything, but no, there is still like goth kids. But maybe they're maybe they're the popular most cool kids rather than kind of like the the misfits. Benjamin Mayor Finkelklein needs to- what the- I'm- I- I'm fairly certain everyone is using a different name every single time and it's totally messing with me. And I think that they're all doing it like someone's gotta be right or they're all doing it to make fun of him or just no one knows. I'm so confused. He needs to figure out a solution to this chaos soon. I left my phone in my locker. Bummer. That does suck, man. There's- this is the worst thing to have come out of this whole situation for sure. Damien? Whether school's closed or not, doesn't matter either way. Life and death are just an endless cycle of suffering. To live is to suffer, to die is to suffer. If you were to compare it to the leaves on the tree, which exist within a perpetual state of decay, you'd find that. He goes on like this for a good 20 minutes. At least it wasn't like slam poetry, he was just speaking from his heart or lack of heart. Honestly, we haven't attended a single class this year. Damien, I think, would be a reference to, like, Damien from The Omen, and Morticia would be a reference to the Adams Family, but I... Uh, they could just be good names that fit the characters, you know? Honestly, we haven't... I, yeah, that's... <laughs> Before I move too far on from that, if I run into a character named Benjamin, I'm like, oh, of course it's a reference to Ben 10 or something. It's like, no, it's just the guy's name is Benjamin. So I'm going to try not to read into this. Honestly, we haven't attended a single class this year. We just like to loiter outside. They make you go to school so you can get arbitrary degrees so you can get better suited to becoming a wage slave. Once they have you in their corporate grip, they suck out every ounce of happiness you have ever once had every ounce of like spookiness or fearfulness or, or something horrified I guess I guess monsters still like to be happy not to say that happiness isn't a myth though there we go because it is no one can ever be truly happy but well, you've really you've really got them to the core you know exactly what their plans are Horrorville High Oh, hello there, Alice. Hope you're having a good night. Unfortunately, school's closed on account of mysterious circumstances. It'll be closed until further notice, so go run along and enjoy enjoy your time off. I guess in that case, people can just go and watch uh, our playthrough of Monster Prom. <laughs> and you can just pretend that it takes place in the same world, that it's totally canon. Empty trash can, nothing fountain. What's your deal, Jekyll? Oh, hello, Alice. How has your night been going? Lost your dog? Well, I, I lost something too. If you help me find it, I'll help you. You see, my Game Dude Horror was taken from me. I, I just just Game Boy Color. <laughs> was there not a Was there not a scarier color alternative? That's ah, the right length in syllables. We'll take it. It was taken by that loathsome Chad. He always bullies me around. 
That bumbling oaf thinks he's all that because he's the star skullball player. Will you please help me get it back from him? I really can't. I can't do it myself, you see. Help him, of course. Oh, thank you, Alice. Oh, he's so happy. That means so much to me. Where to start? Uh, maybe ask around? I'm sure one of your classmates knows where you can find him. Oh, do I have to do I have to go back and talk to like everyone now? Marie, what's up? Just talking about how school's out. Ask about Chad then. Chad, hmm? I don't know. He hangs out with Malcolm a lot. The wolfman near the fork, Celty here. Maybe try talking to him. <laughs> Is Malcolm so predictable? He's literally always hanging out exactly in the middle of the school campus, perhaps. What's up? Where's Chad? I uh, usually hangs around North Ad Av. I'm sure someone out there might know. There's some little ghost kid named Ted who always, uh, who's always there. Maybe he's seen him. So probably it's the guy we talked to before who like refused to help us and all that sort of jazz. It's just that now we actually have the mission underway to go and talk to him. Yeah, no one else along the way gained a a new dialogue branch to talk about Chad. Oh, this is Claus or Klaus. Lost your dog, interesting. Well, you're not the type to help. Oh, maybe that was something about Chad. No way! Yeah, still, he still has nothing to share about Chad either way. North Ave is where I'm trying to find, or Ted perhaps as well. Maybe this is Ted. I can't talk to him, I will never know! Oh, this is the guy. Hmm, is that the big blue guy who's usually around here? I haven't seen him lately. But hey, there's a shady guy that always hangs out east of here. He knows everything that goes on around town. If anyone's seen him, it's him. You! You're the shady one hanging out in your pumpkin patch. I can't get into it. What's going to be inside? I want to know what's going on. You're going to tell me about Chad. <laughs> oh, it's probably the guy who wears shades. He's real shady. Chad, eh? That's an interesting fellow. A man of many faces, you could say. Yeah, I've seen him. I don't give no information away for free, though. They'll cost you. Be a hundred candy. Shh, no way, maybe he'll bring it down. And that's the end of our conversation, little lady. Uh, what an S-O-B. Son of a butt. Stinky old butt. I guess I'm just stuck paying. Pleasure doing business with ya. So this Chad guy. Lately he's been hanging around that old abandoned shack way west. Bet he's hiding something for sure. I imagine he got it locked up real tight. But hey, you paid me. So I'll be a nice guy and give you a lockpick to get in. Probably like a five cent pick. At the very least, it's a thought that counts, right? You stay out of trouble. Ah, you're not. You're so, you're so kind, Bones. I legit don't remember if I ever came into the uh, came into here. Perhaps somewhere to return to after dealing with the Chad situation, the Chad challenge, the Chad venture. I don't think I'm gonna come up with better than that, so I'm I'm sticking with Chad venture. <laughs> You successfully pick it, and your lockpick breaks. Oh, he's gone, but he left the uh, the horror behind, which very rightfully is the teal-colored one, which everyone knows were the best. They were the absolute top. Oh, that startled me a little bit. It was like weirdly loud. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And just where do you think you're going, Alice? Uh, just taking a stroll. Nice hair. You're dead bones, Alice. Didn't say, say dead meat. You gotta say dead bones. Chad emerged by walking slowly up to you and announcing himself and like making it very clear that he was coming at you. I like to think that the little. I had the timing of it wrong. The song changed. It was going on a loop up till then. But there's these little like woo in the background that keeps coming up now and again. I like to think it's like a little little Jackson homage, perhaps. Anyways, Chad, I choose the uh, kick him in the groin ability. I think that's one of the skills that I learned over time. Should be able to bust that out. And he runs into you. Big skull ball playing meathead. Couldn't think of uh, any strategy. Couldn't use uh, his head to think up a plan. He flexes his muscles and his attack went up. Typical bonehead move. I am going to... I don't know if he's undead. What does he count as? Is he some sort of vampiric creature? I should bind him up. There's no reason not to be binding him, honestly. There we go. No one ever has as much health as I think they're gonna have. Oh, it's over already? Man, we are sure great. A couple of badasses here. You're pretty good. 
You know, I only took that dumb game, dude, because that nerd needs to learn to stand up for himself. And what did he do? He sent you to go get it for him. He gets bullied by everyone, not just me. If he'd stand up for himself, then people would leave him alone. Well, I guess you'd better get back that game dude now. Wow, that's weirdly... Wait a second, what? Does Jekyll turn into Chad? That's really funny. That's such an interesting twist on it. It's kind of like... It's like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde thing, but it's also kind of uh, like Steve Urkel and... Alfonso? What the hell was cool Urkel called? But yeah, that that's like more what it reminds me of. Yeah, I guess... I guess an explanation is required. Although, my secret is now out to you. Please don't tell anyone. Where to start? You see, I've always been bullied ever since I was little. <laughs> Dr. Jekyll and Mr... Like, Jekyll and Chad instead of Jekyll and Hyde. It just works. It works, and it's amazing. I'd get teased, I'd get thrown in the trash. Well, eventually I had enough, so in my spare time I created a potion. It's also, in a weird way, is like, um, uh, it's not quite like Tyler Durden and, and Jack, because like, those characters, like, I was thinking like, hey, the fact that Chad stole it to teach him a lesson is like, they're influencing each other, each other, the personalities are like, uh, contributing to each other's lives in a way, but that doesn't work, because Durden was no, yeah, anyways. In my spare time, I created a potion. The idea is that it would make me buff, athletic, charismatic. I made it to solve all my problems. Well, it worked, but not like I wanted. I suddenly found myself with an entirely new persona, a completely new personality, separate from myself. I got everything I wanted, but I don't experience any of it. Chad comes and goes as he pleases. And on top of that, he became my biggest bully of all. Imagine that, being bullied by yourself. Turns out there's no magic potion for confidence, kiddo. You gotta work for it. <sighs> Anyways, you got my game dude back. Thanks, Alice. But, but, you're gonna join the party, right? Also, as promised, I can help you on your quest to find your dog. I'm not that strong, but I'll help in any way I can. Of course. Of course I want you in on the team. Then we'll have your, like, Chad powers to go along with it as well. New friend! Yay. He's got the, the silhouette of the Chad looming over top of him there. That's cool. I think I think uh, Chad Chad and Jekyll is like a my favorite character so far because that concept works on like so many levels to me. There, we have a skeleton witch, a fear leader, and a nerd. <laughs> Look at his like mouth breathing. It's too long of a sideburn like his profile picture that he has going on there. All he has is his fists, but then his ability probably, right? Ultra Glove 1, lowers enemy defense and fear DF. Oh, is Ultra Glove like the Nintendo thing that you would wear? Scan, scans the enemy to determine weaknesses, and the Hess Zapper, which would be like the uh, Ness Zapper, but it's probably like the horror... Because what was it called? I already forget what his Game Boy equivalent was called, but this is totally his, like, horror entertainment system instead of a Nintendo one. So he's got all these nerdy game, uh, weapon ability equivalents. I thought maybe there'd be more to some of the, uh, the school quest line stuff, so I guess I got some time to investigate elsewhere and, and maybe play around with a few other things. 274 candy? Sure, I'll gamble a little bit more. I might as well do it a, a handful of times. 50 candy. Man, I'm really taking this guy for a ride here. 50 candy. <laughs> you suck at this game, man. You gotta you gotta rig it a little bit more in your favor, I think. Cause I'm I'm just cleaning you out. I'm breaking even at worst here. It's no loss to me whatsoever. Oh what like the first time I didn't get anything. Now, do you know what? He did it. He probably wrote me in, and now I'm just gonna sit here and sink all my money in for the rest of time. <laughs> nope, I think I'm golden. <laughs> what the hell? This did not work out in my favor this much. That's out of control. That's stupid. I That shouldn't work. But now I'm gonna have all this earned confidence to think that I can't lose, and here I am. I'm, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose it all now. Do you know what? I'm still ahead. 120 bucks. I think I know when to call it quits. I'm gonna walk away uh, profitable here. 
Oh wait, I do want to plug around the inn a little bit and see what is going on here. No one's here. Is it Labor Day? Up the elevator. Uh, this feels familiar. Did I take this? Oh, there's just the generator up top. Yeah, nothing really new or exciting there. Did I grab every generator? There's generator. There's actually a chance. Oh, I did. I have not gone up to that lab yet. That's something I, I ought to be investigating, I think. Okay, yeah, don't really know how to make it past that. Got any, like, tips or tricks for me there, uh, big old guard? Nope, just there to stand there and look tough. That's fine. Hmm. Oh, these are all the generators. Yeah, so I, I've shut off four or five. There is a fifth generator somewhere that finally, finally answers the question of where these generators are connected to and why I'm, like, concerning myself with it. It just felt like the sort of thing that, like, really needed to get done. I couldn't, couldn't just let them waste all this energy on Lord knows what. Now we know. But even so, I won't allow it. Okay, off east of... Where is this? Where, where did I just come from? Oh wait, there's like the church up up top there is where the generator things were. I have not been over to this side, I don't think. Jennifer, don't talk to me, pleb. I'm the queen of memes on the nether net. Nether nets. Good quality stuff there. A succubus, just a regular old one. Hey kids, spare some DP. It's no fun if you just give it. <laughs> Did you still take it or are you actually going to fight me for it? Sarcastic succubus. Oh, you got me. Well, I think I'll just bash you up. Maybe, maybe I see uh, if I should use a little bit of... Yeah, let's try a scan. We haven't had a chance to scan anyone before. Oh, is there strong against flesh stuff, weak against blood stuff, strong against uh, leaf stuff? Man, I don't remember precisely what all of them mean. It was like bone, flesh, blood, fall electric like frankensteins and stuff poison and and sweet like candy things i'll have to review that a little bit more good to know i i guess uh, i don't think that's like permanently accessible information i would have to re-scan it every time they're confident they're so confident foo 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 is that all you got or is that supposed to be like <laughs> like a like a dr jekyll sort of or dr Lecter. Lecter, not Jekyll. I feel like that's more what he was going for. Oh, he cannot attack. Huh. I guess in that case, you can go ahead and use your zapper. Never misses, it claims. Pew pew. It's a great little zap you threw out there, Jekyll. You're uh, a credit to the squad here. Oh, you broke out of your, uh, your bindings, did ya? That was pretty quick, actually. You do not have a ton of uh, FP, considering that you are, like, the FP guy. There's got to be a way that you can switch to, to Chad mid-battle, right? At least I would think so. Defense went down. He's slain. Pretty easy-peasy overall. But yeah, I want to know how to bust out Chad mid-battle. I want to have some Chads. Timmy! That old bridge over there broke. Now there's no way to get to the generator. Mayor Frankel Lime is gonna be so mad. Yeah, they're legit just giving him dumb names every time. That wasn't me, I swear. You were the first sus suspect, first and only. And I don't know if you've earned the ability to not be a suspect yet. What did I just wander into? Jean, welcome, little girl. We don't often have visitors down here. Welcome to the official headquarters of the suit. That's the secret underground investigation team. We're all about uncovering the top secret shadow government. All these creepies running amok? The government's covering up the truth. Those creepies, the sounds in the distance, the blackouts. It's all connected. You know exactly what we're dealing with, right? That's right. Aliens. Aliens are invading the underworld. That's an interesting cross-section of, like, horror and sci-fi. They're performing experiments on the undead. For what purpose? Who knows? That's what we're trying to figure out. And you, you're a part of this? You're on board? 
He's wearing like a tinfoil hat. I suspect he's a little bit more paranoid, and I think he just initiated battle music. When you talk to someone and they like press a record player that starts playing battle music, it usually means that they're maybe not the trust most trustworthy guy. Who are you? Who sent you? Who was it, Hades? Was the government finally come for me? Listen to me, little skeleton. Trust no one. Our conversation is being taped. You're using the airwaves. They're using them. There's a top secret order in the upper government to put chemicals in the blood we drink. I'm not even kidding. Do you see what I mean? That's how they get you. All these creepies are just meant to distract the public. You're all falling victim to the new underworld order. Everything around us is merely a simulation. We're in a video game, little girl. We're lines of code and machine. The universe is a lie. The only way to save yourself is by buying my patented supplements. <laughs> That is not where I thought it was going. Did we just get, like, our, our very own Alex Jones in here? Alex Bones is the obvious thing for me, but maybe you don't want to be that on the nose. Maybe, like, he's a little divisive. You keep him, keep him out of the game. Uh, I want all that money, but, oh, good. He does have something to buy. He has Wolfman Shake and Skeleton Sauce. Looks gross and smells awful. Man, do I ever want to buy those, though. I, I'm sorry, dude. I don't think I have what it takes. Do you have anything of mine you want to buy? No. Ah, he doesn't even say anything if I fail to buy it. Well, that was just him having a freak out. That was, he did not intend to battle. Somehow this guy did figure out he exists in a video game though. That's quite perceptive of him. Yeah, I'll just leave you to it, dude. If I ever manage to gamble enough to get $9,999, I'll come back. But you can only win like 50 at a time and you're gonna lose 20 now and again. Because I, I was thinking, like, ah, if you won percentages, or you could you could double down or put in more to win more. I think they're just meant to not be bought. <laughs> A file cabinet. The red guy keeps glaring at you when you try to open it, so you leave it alone. Bunch of junk and evidence. Some kind of conspiracy suggesting President Hades eats souls. Oh, I didn't realize Hades was the president. You don't understand any of this. I'm gonna leave you guys to it. Seems like you're doing some groundbreaking investigative journalism. Uh, I wish you the best. I hope you uh, crack the case in no time. And then we got our busted up bridge here. There's a rock here. Maybe if you aim it just right, you can turn off the generator across the chasm. I have a sneaking suspicion this is not going to work. Throw the rock? Yes. There's no way that worked, did it? It's getting jammed up in there, and... Oh, are we just getting like a cool sneak peek at something to come later in the game, maybe? <sighs> no, I'm so sorry. We're Rube Goldberging this ghost. I'm so sorry this is happening to you, little buddy. Oh, <laughs> it knocks the guard out, startles the cat, cat grabs the Cyclops, it looked like. He's gonna knock that car off the cliff. That is a very overly elaborate and very uh, dangerous series of events. But boy howdy, is it effective. That's exactly where I was going for. Been really working on my arm lately, my accuracy. I'm thinking of going pro. Well, that takes care of that. I'm fairly confident we're never going to go with that part of the map and it was entirely just to have that play out. I'm so thankful because that was amazing. I'm legitimately trying to look up, because I couldn't come up with one off the top of my head, Rube Goldberg device puns, that like trying to craft one, because, uh, yeah, there's no way if you just type in Rube Goldberg Halloween pun, anything's going to come up. But it could be like Rube Ghostberg, maybe Rip Goldberg, Rube uh, Goldblood, I'm not feeling that one, Rube Go Goryberg. Rube Tomberg, Rube Gold Tomb, something like that, maybe. Ooh, he could be like Rube Gorbog. Gorbog is kind of a cool smashing ups of words, and they're nice and short and similar syllables and everything. If you see that this episode title is Rube Gorbog, then that's what I went with. That was what I settled on as my favorite. If it's something else, then uh, it's either because some people in the comments told me that a different one that I just said was better or that someone in the comments came up with something better. I will, I will change the episode title if I agree that there is a better one out there. You totally just caused that guy's car to get trashed, Alice. That's jail time for sure. And you look awfully chipper about it, Raps. Not if nobody finds out. Cheese it!
<laughs> Let's just get out of here. You didn't see nothing, Timmy. I'm gonna break those legs if you report us to anyone. Oh wait, two things. We have all the generators, so we should be able to go up to that lab. But, it's been a while, but I'm fairly certain there was something in episode one near our, like, house. That there was something about, oh, we gotta make sure we get all these generators shut off first. And I tried to go back for it a few episodes ago, and I forget what the result of that was. I think it was just that we did not have all of them shut down yet. Holy shit! This is new, isn't it? Henry! Hello there! Who might you be? Who might I be? Let's see. Do you fancy yourself one of quick wit? Could that be true? I believe so, perhaps yes. I'd like to play you a song. The soil is still, the seeds are sown, the ground where meals are made of all plants that here are grown. Which do I serenade? What? <laughs> Okay, but it is seeds, so potatoes are normally grown out of, like, eyes of other potatoes, but there has to be something that is actually a potato seed, right? Carrots and potatoes both grow on the ground. Cabbage, I guess, is, like, above ground, technically. I'm gonna say you're doing carrot? Carrot, hmm. No? Was that- it's a hard no, I'm thinking? I'll- I'll try this again. Do, 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 do. But what does that actually tell me? Not a clue. You potato, I potato. That still was not correct. I, I mean, I have to just guess cabbage. Well done, my dear. Soon you two will be able to see what lies on the moon. What? Why was that cabbage? Why are all meals made of cabbage? What was the... What was I missing? Am I gonna, like, find that character again? Is he going to appear, like, maybe in a later act? Or is he, like, actively, you know, did he move somewhere else in, in the game world that I have to go, like, track him down? Coming back specifically for that... Oh, look, candy. Oh, no, Ring of Magics. Gotcha. No way. That was hidden in the very beginning of the game here, and I totally missed it way, way long ago. But, like, what? Wait, did I just get trapped in here? Oh, nope, there's a separate door. <laughs> I just can't go off to the side there. Is that it? Is that what I've been waiting to come back for all this time? Was to have this little little game with Henry? Because I legit do not understand. It seems like some sort of long con thing that's being built up now. But I did not understand his riddle at all. Well, all the generators are down. We can come up to the north side for the first time. Legitimately, I am editing this in after the fact because I underestimated the length of this demo. It's hyper impressive. But I thought I was just like, bah, I'll finish things this episode. It'll just be like a 40 or 50 minute episode, but I'll, I'll clear things up rather than breaking it up into two shorter ones. Like, that's fine. I don't mind doing that. And then the game just has so much to offer, and we're still just in, like, this free demo portion of the game, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I will see you again soon. I should- I'm, I'm going to attempt to maybe put these out more rapidly, uh, rather than the once every week or two or whatever I was doing before, because... Yeah, there's clearly enough here that I should be setting a better pace. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.